Hello and welcome to the Pharmacy Informatics Professor 2020 with your host, Dr. Armin Simonian. We've talked a lot about technologies that are applied to the medication use process. And do we really know how much these systems are really being used? Um, how can we tell? Well, the answer is yes. We have surveys going on all the time that talk about the extent of implementation of various technologies along the medication use process. Today, as part of the Journal Club series, I want to talk about two landmark surveys that have been done in the past uh, 15 years or so, talking about these technologies and the level of implementation of these technologies at various hospitals across the country. So let's talk first about a survey that was done in 2007. And this survey um, asked the question of hospitals across the country what have they implemented, which technologies, and technologies that they were planning on implementing in the future, and maybe if they weren't interested in implementing those technologies at all at that point, to indicate that also. So this was a great article that really gave you a kind of a pulse check on where we were with implementing these technologies. If you look at this chart from the article, you'll see that the most implemented technologies at that time in 2007, 13 years ago, was automated dispensing cabinets. So automated dispensing cabinets really kind of were very disruptive and revolutionized the way that we dispense medications in the inpatient setting. Smart pumps also uh, very highly implemented and um, electronic medical records were going into place we were coming up on the High Tech Act, which was in 2008. And um, this was just before that, uh, where they had the meaningful use regulations that were put into place. So um, even though the numbers are low here, you see that people were starting to think about it and implement EMRs and complete EMRs. And I can guarantee you that this has gone way up in the following years. Um, CPOE was still at a low level, and CPOE with clinical decision support was even lower. Um, barcode medication administration, the safety net for nurses at the time of administration of medications, was also at a, a relatively low level. If we move forward to 2013, so six years after that first survey, uh, Dr. Fox Peterson and Gumper did a follow-up survey. And in this survey, they found pretty much the same results. The same technologies that you uh, saw before that were highly implemented, like automated dispensing cabinets and um, smart pumps were also still on the rise. And in addition, we had other technologies that were uh, starting to grow quite a bit such as CPOE and BCMA, as I mentioned before, and the implementation of complete EHRs. Another interesting thing that I found from this second article is they had new technologies, which they didn't survey on the first time in 2007, but now in 2013, we're actually asking the question if folks were implementing automated anesthesia carts, IV workflow software, and then real-time medication tracking software to make sure that the medications that were dispensed out of the pharmacy actually made it to the patient care areas for administration to the patients, and then medication delivery robots. I can tell you um, on further research that um, there's been quite an uptick in the use of IV workflow uh, management systems or IV workflow software. And um, these were the newer technologies in 2013. It would be interesting if the authors did a follow-up survey now, seven years later in 2020, or you know, in the next couple of years to see where we are with these technologies. So one thing I found particularly interesting in this second survey is they talked about pharmacy IT positions. So uh, positions in the IT department or pharmacy informaticists. 
And you can go through the chart and look at the hospital size and basically how many FTEs, full-time equivalents, so how many bodies they have as pharmacist IT positions. And in 2007, what they found was 1.9 plus or minus 0 0.1, which is at the bottom of the screen here. And so we'll round that up to a full person. So that would be two FTEs average. And then in 2013, we found 3.12 plus or minus 0 0.21. So we'll round that down to whole bodies. And so we had three pharmacy IT positions on average at hospitals across the country. So the number of positions went up. And I can probably estimate that this has increased further, if not at least state level. Uh, but it again, it would be interesting to see if that number has changed uh, if we do a follow-up survey. So very interesting. If you want to get an idea of how much technology has been implemented across the med use process, particularly in the inpatient setting, these are two great surveys that I would start with. And then you can do your research on individual uh, surveys from different organizations that have looked at particular technologies. But great overview of what's being implemented and what the top technologies are and what the top priorities are. If this video was helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And I'll thank you for that. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, look after the health of others, and I'll work on some more episodes, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.